guys. We have our palette roundup for this week, which was December 5th, and I have six palettes here to rank for you, and I enjoyed all of them, so, you know, they just had to be in an order. So, yeah, we're gonna start with palette number six here, which is the ColourPop It's a Mood palette. This is the color story, and this is ranking number six for me, really, just because of the color story here. So if you look, like, why is this matte shade with this blue row? Why do we only have two mattes with the green row? And this pulls more blue than green for me. Why are there only two mattes in this row? Why don't all of the rows have a pressed glitter? Like, I just, there could have been more thought. Like, I love the color story. I love the fallness of this palette. And I did create a really pretty look with it. But I just think it could have been better thought out. So, I do love the palette. But something had to rank number six. So, next in spot number five here, we have the Profusion Moonstone palette, which this is a big one here. And the reason this is ranking in spot number five is really just the color story, the fact that it's a neutral palette and I'm not hugely into neutrals. I used this like black and gray row, which was absolutely stunning. The quality on these giant palettes is fantastic. It just, for the color story, it has to rank a little bit lower than the other four palettes that are ahead of it. But this was great and I do love it. In palette number four here, we have the Cara Beauty Time Traveler palette. So this is one of their pro palettes. This is the Pro 14. And I've loved every Cara Beauty palette that I've tried, but this one especially was fantastic. I used this top row here and it just, it blended effortlessly. The shimmers were stunning. Like, I'm so excited to keep using it and trying out the looks. Like... Again, it just needed to rank middle of the road for me compared to the, the three in front of it, but I really enjoyed what I did with that palette. And now, my top three are all Jeffree Star palettes, and my little disclaimer is I buy Jeffree Star secondhand. I know not everybody supports him, and I do not like to support him either, but I do like his formula. So take that as you will. In spot number three, we have the Jawbreaker palette, which... This is the color story here. I love the look that I created with this, but the reason this is in spot number three is because the, the colors that I used, which I used this orange, this like red, I used this orange and this orange shimmer and then the white. The matte oranges that I used came out more like pink on the eyes than orange. And that's my only complaint is that the shades in the pan aren't necessarily true on the eyes as they are in the pan. I still came out with a gorgeous look and I still think the palette is beautiful, but it just, it wasn't the look that I was intending on creating, if you know what I mean. In spot number two, we have what is on my eyes today, which is the Bloodlust palette, which if you don't know, this is the color story. This palette, it was just beautiful to work with. I have this shade here all over the lid and then I have a little bit of this dark purple in the outer corner and then I have this in the center of my lid and then this duochrome pink is my inner corner highlight. I really liked it. I think it was beautiful. I'm excited to use this again and go for a more purple look but yeah I really like how this look turned out and I didn't expect that duochrome like I thought it was just gonna be a light pinky purple and I think it turned out really beautifully and in spot number one we have the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson this is the conspiracy palette the look that I created with this palette was so beautiful this yellow is probably the best yellow I have in my entire collection like it was so gorgeous. I used a little bit of this black, which is a gorgeous black. This Illuminati shade was beautiful. This uh, Conspiracy shade is super similar to what I have on my eyes today from the Bloodlust palette, which is the shade Sworn Enemy. Like, those are super similar. So I didn't really love this shade, but, like, this yellow stole the show for me absolutely loved it. That was in my number one spot. So those were the six palettes that I used this week.
Let me know, are any of these your favorites? And I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.